everybody. So we are back, trucking along. Um, let's see here. What did I do on the break? Um, I just kind of got my bearings together for the last two signatures. Um, and I also found a handful of stamps in my stamp collection. These are obviously used stamps, um, but they I picked out the ones that had animals on them. So I'll use those throughout to kind of accent, add to, you know, whatever. So the last two signatures I've kind of pieced together. <sighs> so um, I got excited. <laughs> I have these big... Um, butterfly cards. They're cutouts. I got it from the dollar store forever ago, and I think they're for like a bulletin board or whatever, but I had three of them, and they're real big. They're, they're big to wear. I've tried to use them in several different journals, but they're just too big. So what I did was I folded them in half, and we have little flip outs, and so I've got them. I did two of them, well, I've got a total of three. One's in this one, and the other two are in the previous two signatures. So, I got excited and added them in there. <laughs> so, that is that. Um, but, carrying on. Um, let's see here. So, I'll, I did this, put my brown paper down so I could put this butterfly in here. We'll leave this for writing space, and then we're on to this. So I have this card, I think I wanna do as a pocket, and so we'll go ahead and, what are we supposed to do, Shell? That's what I could have done on my break. I could have. Added gold to everything. <laughs> Since I keep forgetting to do that. Okay, <clears throat> back to that. Um, <laughs> we'll add this as a big pocket. Letting that dry a bit, I'm going to give my stuff some gold. This is another tag that I made back. I think it, I might have made it either in Junk Journal July or Maths Make March. I don't recall. Maybe Maths Make March or Junk Journal July. I don't know. But anyways, we're using it. Um... So, my plan is to tuck this in here, and then I've got this little bitty pocket that I want to glue here, and we'll have like a double pocket. <laughs> I just thought that was cute because the, um, the tropical and all that good stuff. So, um, so there you go. With that being said, I feel like I need to incorporate this bright red stuff. I have a couple more pockets. Um, peeling the glue off my paddle real quick. I've got a couple more over here in my stash. So I feel like I'm in, I need to incorporate them throughout the journal. Because otherwise this feels like it's a big bright pink thing that is not anywhere else in the journal. <laughs> so, we'll have to see what we can do with that. <clears throat> I do have a handful of playing cards over here that I can easily 
incorporate. So we know we, we're going there with that. Okay. Then we have this guy. I am not a fan of this guy. I don't do spiders very well at all. But he is part of the animal kingdom. So he will go in here. I'm doing him kind of a little different. I'm not doing him as a pocket. I'm, I'm doing him as just a flip out or flip down. <clears throat> Scoot you over a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to do him right here as a flip down. Conveniently, there's a spider web there. I did not plan that. But some things just work out. Some things just work out. I'm going off camera here. That's what's going on over here. Give him a good layer of glue. So we are going to scoot you in here. So, he flips down and you can journal, and I've got this journal card that's backed with some brown, and I'm going to clip it here at the top, and so he kind of, I mean, he can go either way, but my initial thought is so he'll help that spider lay down. <laughs> that's, my, that's my initial thought. I love that. That's so cute. Okay, moving on. We have this. Oh, I need to back this. <clears throat> I thought I had all of my images ready to go like either backed or sewn or whatever. Um, and I probably should sew this guy real quick. Because I'm going to make kind of a... My thought process is a tricky little pocket. So... I talk about in some some of my videos how I truly do junk journaling. This is the front of a card. A uh, greeting card. That would have otherwise been tossed in the trash. But we have salvaged him. Now, my thought process with this guy is um, is to attach him like in two places so the card can go in and it'll kind of show through. But the animals are, the birds are hidden on here so it gives it a um, kind of a background, if that makes sense. I'm gonna sew this real quick. It's gonna be loud and um, I apologize, but
Okay. So if I glue like right here, let me get you, you guys up and I've been sitting down as I've been working. And so, cause I prefer to work standing up, but it kills my back. Anyways, um, if I glue along here and I glue like the tip of his nose, you still can't see me. There we are, tip of his nose, then this can tuck there. That's my plan anyways. We'll see if it works. <laughs> you know what I didn't do? I didn't give him some gold. Let's pull him up real quick. See, that acts as like a little background for the elephant. But when you pull it out, there's actual birds there. Yay! I'm not gonna I'll try to give this some gold, but I don't know if it'll take it because it's a it's a pretty slick card. Maybe I'll take it on the back. Going with that, and the thought process here is to do um, this little owl. as a kind of a corner I don't know what this is considered but he is a corner pocket <laughs> He needs to be pinched down is what he needs. For a minute at least. And so on this This side, I was just going to do some brown paper. this little butterfly there. Maybe. Who knows? <coughs> I 
You guys are not going to believe it. I am at the end of another glue stick. What is up, Elmers? I'm thinking maybe there's not as much glue in these glue sticks as there used to be. Because, man, I feel like I have gone through them. smooth oh, I need to clean my fingers I got glue on my fingers and that's bothersome it's very bothersome We didn't gold that one either. We didn't gold these oh, these owls. What are we thinking? What is the problem, Shell? Get with the program. Let's see if we can. Give them a little something, something. And then here's another uh, greeting card. I don't think he's going to take too lightly to Excuse me. We'll try it though. that I glued to a brown envelope and I've tucked in this card. This is a slick postcard type card, so um, I do think the brown envelope will take the gold. Not that you'll be able to see a lot of it, but that's the thing. In the right light, you can see. See how shiny it is? I think that's rather pretty. It's just a matter of catching the right light. So I think I'm going to do this. Just 
playing around with see what I have here. Got a lot of brown going on there. What do we have here? A bird, a duck, more ducks. Horse. We have two horses. Can do those. like I like these little pockets but there if you put something in them it completely covers it and um, I don't like that I like for it to poke out just a little bit so I'm kind of bothered by that These are my scraps, and so let's see here. If we did this and covered up the brown, and we did two little card tags there. We could put two cards there. Then we have this big space. I wonder, let's see here, Shell. Oops, how many cards can we do here? If we did the, not the horses, so if we did birds, we could do those birds, those birds, and a hummingbird. And then we still have a blank space we need to do that bird. a lot going on there. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? I, I kind of think I like it. Um, did just that we could I don't know I'm kind of I'm actually honestly kind of tired right now so I'm kind of all over the place with my thoughts
what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? I have this cute little thing. I wish I could figure out a way to incorporate it. I don't know if you can see it. You can't. It's a little Kodak thing, and it's a, a little sheep a ram thing. I just think he's so cute. I don't know how to incorporate him to where... I mean, he has to be to where you can flip him out to see, see what he's got going on. I mean, I guess I could sew him on the edge here. But he's kind of just, that's the only one I have, of course. I do have these two little photos of two little cats. So there's that. Um, I don't want to stick this down yet till I figure out what I'm going to do with him. Okay, so well, let's just skip that for a minute and get our bearings back together, get our book back together, move on to the last page. So we have writing space, so I'm not going to do anything with this page except for I'll do this feather Another flip. So this is going to be back here for journaling space. So I need to glue. Show this off camera. This is the back side. Now, this back page, I kind of, my thought process on it's kind of going to be a little busy. So, you just have to bear with me a minute. But we're going to do this Jaguar pocket down here. pocket down here. And <clears throat> this guy's going to go here. And then this is just going to tuck in here. I don't think gold works very well on this either because it's really... Well, it's so 
so far so good. Maybe rub it all off on my hand, but we'll try. And I'm leaving this, I'm, I'm not attaching it to a page anywhere, so I'm leaving it as a little notepad that can be pulled out. That's why I did all the... All the sides of it. Like I said, I think I just want to do that as... this as an image. And then I think I want to cut that there. I'll feel tuck in there. I think. bandit maybe that's what we'll do I need to straighten it up though mm, he's straight okay so we'll add some gold to him little card is a oh, like a trading card. I had a giraffe one and a panda bear one. The giraffe one's back there somewhere. So if we did this, he would tuck in here. Then we could add a little stampy stamp. Again, kind of a busy back page, but um, that's kind of what we're going with. What do we think? Do we want the bellies little warthog? Do we want this little beaver? Hmm. Let's go with the Tuck 
in there. I think that's kind of cute, actually. And then you can tuck in here. And put you there. Let's see how many animals we can get on this page. <laughs> that I should have buffed them with some gold why would I do that Joe Okay, so that takes care of that. Kind of a crazy back page. Now we're back to this. <sighs> Trying to decide what we want to do with this. I could easily just do Maybe that's what we'll do with this guy. Just tuck him in there. Okay. <laughs> um, let's see here. That's real curious. That makes me real curious as to, ooh, what's that? <laughs> I think that's cute. Um, <laughs> part of me don't know that that's where he needs to be, though. Maybe so, though. Part of me wonders if this is what's throwing me off. I kind of feel like he just needs to be like inconspicuously down here or something. Used all my images. Could do that. Or this. What do you think? I think I kind of like that. So, first things first is to get this guy glued down. I think 
We just how do we like it towards the bottom? Turn a little bit more. Do we want this little guy up here somewhere? Again, approaching the tom. Mm -mm. I have to trim you off. No folding business. No folding funny business up in there. Good. Maybe the cute little kitty will distract you from the crookedness. Maybe. Cute little kitty. Gold on here. Not that this will take some gold. I think it will. So cute. Again, I don't know if you guys can see him, but he's a cute little sheep ram. <laughs> I just think he's cute. He needs to be in here somewhere. Don't you agree? Don't you agree? Don't you agree, darling? Oh, and actually, you know what? <laughs> Looky there. Looky there what we have found. Although the cat really doesn't go with that, but again, we're, we're doing a random mix of things, and I think, let me hit my stamp with you know what let's do it like this let's do it sideways and then we can put our stamp right here I think that will work very cute Get another glue stick. So 
this little stamp says America's Wool, and it's got a little sheep on it. And then we have this little lamb guy that fits in there. So cute. <laughs> okay. Did we get everything? Let's see where we're at with this. This is our fourth signature. So, let me make sure we've got everything. Not there. You tuck in there. I need to work in another one of these somewhere. So you're not so bright. Unless... work in Let that tone it down a little bit although might be this one I can't really tell what the image is on this it looks like Maybe a crocodile, and it says Africa, so I don't know if these are like maybe gazelle or something in the water. I don't know. And we'll stick down here and make it work. And this card pulls up and that folds out. You're good. You're good. You're good. And all this craziness on the back. Okay, I kind of want to. feel like something needs to be back here. I kind of feel like these two pockets are just really very plain. And if we did something back here, we could do one of these birds in it. Again, I don't like that it's so not that a red cardinal matches the bright pink. Pulls in the bright pink. Although I think I actually think that would probably be better. So we'll do you back here. And so do we want to do these blue birds or this
Why would you do it like that? I'll just leave that like it is. I could add some brown paper back here. Like, that's perfect. Okay. <laughs> okay. We'll do the brown paper back there then. works. That works. That works. That works. That works and that works. Okay. So now we are done with the fourth signature, even though my pages are trying to be wonky on me. Who's not cooperating? Okay. Um, fourth signature done. So we're down to one more signature. I've got my ephemera sewn and ready to go. Just It will be another assembly like I just did here. So I'm gonna close this one up and um, I think we're in the home stretch, um, I think. <laughs> so thanks for joining me and um, we'll continue on till we get this done. Um, yeah, so I'll be back soon enough. Bye for now.